Hi, in this video I will show you the process of cartoon character creation from scratch, using references generated by AI. Some of its results are quite funny, but there are quite good ones that can be used as references. Let's move on to modeling the character itself. To start we will create the basic head shape from a square. Adjust its basic proportions and give it a more similar overall shape to our reference by moving vertices and adding new faces. In sculpting mode we will adjust the overall geometry and now we will add more resolution to our mesh using the subdivision surface modifier. Applying this modifier we can now switch to sculpting mode and work on the head in more detail. To continue working on the shape we need to add eyes so that we can know the replacement and work on the head shape according to the size and position of the eyes. Let's make the eyes more cartoonish by increasing the size of the pupil. And use the mirror modifier to create a copy of the eye. Create a basic shape for the nose using the same method as we used to create the head, simply adding new edges and moving vertices. Creating the basic facial feature is important at this stage, before moving on to the more detailed work, as we will be able to understand the overall shape that we are getting, and fix the basic inaccuracies before the more accurate details are worked out. In the same way we will create ears, set the basic shape and when we are satisfied with it, apply the mirror modifier to create a copy of the ear on the other side of the head. And how our head will look with hair, let's create the basic shape of the hairstyle. It's time to create the torso. At this stage we would not think too much about the topology, as we will be sculpting in the next stage and will only then move on to the topology to create a suitable mesh for animation. It is enough for us to set the basic shape that would approximate the shape of the character in our reference. All other details and proportions will be worked out in the sculpting stage. Grow legs from the torso using the extrude tool and set their basic shape. For the body I am using this reference because it has proportions close to real human. We will do the same with the arms, we don't need a lot of detail at this stage, only the basic proportions. Now that we have blocked out uh, the basic parts of the body and head, we can move on to more detailed work. Let's do the lips using sculpting, then work on the eye and cheek area. Dynamic topology will allow us to not worry about topology, automatically adding the necessary number of polygons. Add eyelids and detail the shape of the face around the eyes. To copy the eyelids we still use the mirror modifier. To create the details of the shape I mainly use three brushes. Crease for hard areas, clay strips for adding or reducing volume and smooth for smoothing geometry. Thus the face became more similar to our reference. Now we can add eyebrows to work on the shape of the face in their area. We create eyebrows from a plain object using the extrude tool and moving vertices in space. We will add modifiers to the eyebrows shrink wrap to make the eyebrow fall the shape of the forehead and solidify to make it protrude slightly above the surface of the head. Now we can move on creating the hair. To create hair we use curves. One curve is used to set the direction of the lock and with another closed curve we set the shape of the lock. You can choose a more complex shape for the locks if necessary for your hairstyle. By selecting vertices and using add plus SK combination we can adjust the thickness of the lock. 
By duplicating and editing the locks direction curve, we create the rest of the locks. Create a basic shape for short hair. We can snap the editable vertices to the surface of the head by holding Ctrl plus G. With surface snapping mode selected at the top of the screen. Move on to the sculpting stage. With dynamic topology enabled, gradually work out all the details of our character's body. First setting the basic shapes and then refining the detail for each muscle and body line. During sculpting we use the same three brushes, crease, clay strips and smooth. We can adjust the large shapes with a grab brush. Do not add small details such as veins, wrinkles and skin pores at this stage. We will add them at the texturing stage. On this file we should work through middle-sized forms such as muscles and bones. Not every character needs the same level of anatomical detail. Some of them need to be muscular and defined, while others can be more simplified in shape. For shoes we can take a base model suitable for our character from stock. Adjust the side and position of the shoe and as always use the mirror modifier to create its copy. Also, we can take a plate for the hands and resize it for our character. Merge it with the body using the boolean combine modifier. Now correct the connection point of the hand and palm and add the detail to the fingers. The shape of our character's body is set. Now we can move on to creating clothes. Duplicate the body we created, switch to the scope mode, select the box trim tool and remove the parts we don't need, leaving only the pants. Use the solidify modifier to give the pants thickness. Now we can add dials to our pants, such as seams and folds. Add seams using the crease brush and folds using the clothes brush. Move on to creating t-shirt. Mask the area where the t-shirt will be located and apply the mask extract command. Rebuild the topology of the resulting object using the quadrimesh plugin. Now we can adjust the elements and add detail to the t-shirt, seams and folds. Now everything is ready for the final detailing of the space and merging all objects into one mesh. Gradually using the boolean combine modifier, merge all the elements of the head into one mesh applying this modifier. Before applying check that the operation has worked correctly and has not created unnecessary geometry inside the mesh. After merging the object correct the seams and add detail in sculpting mode with dynamic topology enabled. Now we can add accessories such as bracelet using the shrink wrap and solidify modifiers applied to a cylinder placed on the wrist. Our how poly model is done. In the next chapter we will move on to the topology and preparing the model for animation and texture. Subscribe and like, then these videos will be released very soon. Thank you for watching.